Hey everybody, it's Brian, and welcome to our second C Sharp tutorial. Go ahead and go File, New Project, and then just choose Console Application. Um, we're going to make the obligatory Hello World program. Uh, whenever you learn a new language, the first thing they want you to do is write a Hello World. Now, you may see me typing, and you're probably wondering, how is he typing so fast? See, when you start typing, that little window pops up. That's called IntelliSense. And you can just either double click on console or you want to let it select it, you can press tab. And it'll write it out for you. And when you press dot, it brings up the properties for that object. So we're just going to type read. So all we've added are two lines to our console application. Write line, hello world, and read. Um, let's go ahead and press control S to save. Or, I'm sorry, save as. And we're just going to call this uh, CS02. And let's put this in whatever location you're going to be saving your projects. Make sure you're all nice and saved there. And let's run this and see what happens. You notice there it says hello world. Well, we flew through that very quickly, so how did we get to that step? Well, first thing, when it creates our console application, it adds all these using. Now, what is this? These are things that we're importing into our program. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on under the hood that we didn't write. Microsoft wrote it for us. For example, system. System.collectionsgeneric, systems.link, systems.txt. Um, I don't expect you to know what any of that stuff is. You'll learn this in future tutorials. Just for the time being, um, kind of click the I believe button and believe that we are importing things. And then namespace, console application one. Um, think of a namespace like an apartment. The trick with these namespaces is that there can only be one of a specific type in there. For example, we have this program. There can only be one program in this namespace. Don't get hung up on the word program. This could be Fuzzy Bunny Slippers or Bob. We're just going to call it Bob for the time being. There can be only one Bob in your namespace. Now, you can have a different namespace, for example, Console Application 2 or I hate fuzzy bunny slippers or whatever that can contain a bob, but this namespace can only contain one bob. In this case, we're calling it program. Now, a class, a class is a blueprint. Um, everything in .NET is an object, and in order to it, in order for it to be an object, it needs a blueprint, which is called a class. So, say it with me: everything in .NET is an object. That means everything in .NET is a class. Or I should say derives from a class. And then we have this ugly looking static void main strings args. What is this thing? Well that's the main entry point of your application. Um, static simply means there can be only one. Void means it simply returns nothing. Main is the main entry point and these are arguments. You can actually pass arguments into your program. You see these squiggly little blocks? Um, C sharp is actually a C style language means it, it uses these blocks. You know, so there's some here, some here. Well, these are called code blocks. For example, that's the namespace code block, and this is the class code block, and this is a function code block. And what that does is it determines the scope and the order of execution, things that we'll cover in future tutorials. For now, all you really need to understand is that you are importing things, you have a namespace, you have a blueprint, you have a starting point, and then you can manipulate the console using write line and read. And we're using read simply because if you, let's comment that out, notice the double slashes, that comments it out, meaning this will not execute. It's the same thing as if it didn't exist at all. Run this. You notice how the window just appears and disappears almost instantly. That's because the program finished. It didn't have anything left to do. So we're going to say console read just to keep that window open when we run this. So that's all for now. Um, if you like this tutorial, um, there are many more out on my website. And let me pull it up here real quick. Yep. www.voidrealms.com. Um, just click Tutorials. And I've kind of got it categorized. It'll, everything will be under C Sharp. There's really nothing there because I haven't uploaded the videos yet. So I'll just choose uh, Visual Basic and just kind of click like a Hello World. And you can see how there's download the source code. So I try to upload the source code for every tutorial. And you can actually watch the YouTube video in the website. Um, no, there's no banner ads or cheesy gimmicks or anything like that. Um, if you do go to download the source code, though, it will say, please donate. I don't expect you guys to donate. 
Um, that's more for businesses that are using this to teach their employees and things of that nature. So uh, go ahead, go out to the website, let me know what you think. Anyways, I gotta get going. This is Brian. Thanks for watching.